much, Nick. And believe me, when the Oz Top 10 comes out next week, not the singles, but the albums, I have no doubt the number one album is going to be this album here, Savage Garden, the self-titled album by the two boys. And when you consider that we did an interview with them oh, late last year, they were so modest, and we're talking about the possibility of being released in America. Well, they're number 15 with I Want You this week. I don't think they ever dreamed that in Australia, this album, the pre-sales of this album, would come to 56,000 copies. That is a staggering effort by the two boys. <laughs> it's been really exciting. We've just come back from New York, uh. which is for us, I mean, hey, it's just two guys from Queensland, mm -hmm. and we've just been to the most exciting city in the world, really. Uh, performed for lots of different companies. We just did uh, some track dates, basically, Daniel on a keyboard, me singing. We played to some of the biggest labels. We played to Arista, Clive. Um, they loved it, and there was a bit of a bidding war, I guess, and we signed to Columbia for the rest right. of the world, so to Sony. Um, and they're really excited about it. We, honestly, we thought London, Europe, yeah, we didn't even think about America, and America's yeah. just a bonus. They're so excited and about it. a big this. bonus as well. Um, the, the song I want you in Texas, like there's three or four states now that are actually playing the track. Oh, really? Yeah. Someone took sure, the track over there, and everyone's panicked because there's no artwork, there's no band, there's, you know, so it's happening. We've got a lot, yeah. lot, lot to look forward to. Well, I talk